magnificent display of artworks such as paintings, fine arts, abstracts and sculptures to enhance your home's interior design by adding layers and visual interest is one aspect that appreciates natural talent. But how is this aesthetic appeal realized? These are the body bin bags. They make a, uh, let me see, the, the bones of this sculpture. I use the, the waste of timbers. Then I, I fix them strongly using the, the drains. After, after it's very firm, I, I apply a paste of plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris and wood glue. Then I apply the paints. Now this is the final product. A genius of art is epitomized by a group of artists operating from the Art Attack Studio in Kiambu County who make use of waste materials including plastic paper bags and small wood pieces to produce great works. Artist Paul Ngonjiri, a painter and a visual artist, has for the last 10 years been using recycled materials to make sculptures beside his painting work. I started with water based watercolors on papers, then later graduated into using canvas. Even the board used for mixing paints for the artwork remains a great source for Ngonjiri as it will later be turned into abstract pieces. It takes Ngonjiri one month to actualize an artistic idea and for him, art just like anthology is a tool to express oneself. From the artistic display, it is clear that Ngonjiri gets his inspiration from nature and people around him with his pieces expressing different distinctive messages. This piece here is talking about the life in Nairobi. So what inspired me to paint this is how people in Nairobi the daily life in Nairobi. So, Mfanyikazi di amebeba bosi. Anoneshwa shiringi. So, kioneshwa shiringi nakuwa nika ime mfunga aki. So, we were sipo fikiria outside the box. Ataishi kuwa slave wa uyu bosi. So, ataye shiringi di oinea. Anakuwa mebeba bosi. Manyumba. The variety in creativity exemplified by Gordon Dongo, who does pencil work and artwork. But just how much do they make from selling their art? From that 500 to, to 15k. Gordon Dongo has been an inspiration to some of his friends and clients who are passionate about art. However, their work has not been without challenges. After we post them, some people download them and print then make a nice frame and sell them to people who are not uh, aware of the original pieces. The striking works of this distinctive artist is what has become part of their lives, making them able to earn a living out of it and even become an inspiration to the younger generation in the art industry. Reporting for Channel One, I'm Sylvia Wanjiro.